Hi, this is Kate, Teen Services Librarian at the Brighton District Library. And today I want to tell you about this month's Teen Take and Make Kit, our little desktop catapults, so that you can wage war against your enemies or just annoy your younger sibling. Uh, these are going to be available starting November 20, Monday, November 29th. Uh, and you just have to stop by the Brighton District Library's information desk and ask for a teen take and make kit and these will be available as long as supplies last. All right, stay tuned for instructions as I show you how to make these awesome little catapults. All right, let's get started. So if you have one of our kits, open it out, get all your supplies, separate all of your things. Then you're going to grab your jumbo popsicle sticks first. Now there should be 10 in here and you're going to take eight of them out and then you'll have two left over. Once you've counted up eight, you're going to go ahead and you take all of them and stack them up into a pile and you're going to want to try and get these even. After you have them even, grab one of your rubber bands and you are going to rubber band one end of your stack. Stack and you're going to want this pretty secure, so just until you run out of rubber band. Depending on how large of a rubber band you have is going to determine how many loops you have to go around. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other end. Okay, once you've fully secured both ends, this is what it should look like. And then you can just set that one down. You're going to grab your remaining two popsicle sticks, make sure they're evenly together, and then you're going to grab a rubber band and you're going to rubber band one end of this little two popsicle stack. Make sure it's nice and secure. You don't want a loose rubber band. Um, and so it should look like this. And then I'm just going to test the rubber band here, make sure it's not, there's not enough that I could get another loop. Then I'm going to put my finger in and I'm going to turn it into like this V shape. And I'm going to pick up my larger stack and insert it in between the two, almost as, about as far as I can go. Um, right there, I've got it on the edge. I'm going to correct it here in a second and I will push my uh, stack in more into the center. Um, I don't know why. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, and then after that, I'm going to take another rubber band and I'm going to rubber band the two different stacks together. This is going to kind of be a crisscrossing um, motion so that you'll have an X over the two. Um, I'm not very good at describing this, but basically you want it to look like that. So it might take a couple of tries until you get your rubber band, but you want it nice and secure. Now we're going to be attaching the bottle cap to one end and we're going to be using our a glue dot. So the glue dot has a piece of plastic, so you're going to take it off, and the glue dot should remain on the plastic end. So then you're going to take your catapult, and you're going to put that glue dot face down stick, and stick it to your popsicle stick end. So I'm just going to let it smooth and press it down, and then I'm going to lift up that plastic, and it should leave the glue dot. Then I'm going to grab my bottle cap, and press it on top and I'm going to hold it there for at least 30 seconds. I'm just going to press it um, to try and make sure it's nice and secure so that my bottle cap doesn't go flying off when I go to launch my catapult. So just hold it there for a bit and let the glue do its work. And, yep, and then I just test it there, make sure it doesn't seem like it's flying off. Grab the little provided pom-pom and doink! There you go. I hope you enjoyed this craft. Next month for our teen take and make, we're going to be making winter luminaries. This kit is going to be available at the information desk starting Monday, December 13th, while supplies last, and it's only for grades 7 through 12.